Okay, welcome to our second LPX vlog for today. Two episodes to start the game. Okay. Go. Okay, go. This is pitch perfect. And they came in the episode a couple times too. But, anyway, written by David Shane. First time writer for the show, and uh, he previously came ready cutting him after a ninja. Which, by the way, had him and Larkin on that. Which might be why he got dropped here. But anyway, go and they kept go continuing off from the premiere with sort of, but the main two plots going on was one that probably um throughout question go missing they gotta find out who took it or why it's missing. And the main plot, go in transition for the a cappella group or Ali Capella. And the group is called what's the title? And and basically she failed the audition and because of um, I'm really gonna do stupid. But um yeah she gets caught sure of herself, so I think most time look up the code is going to end up forming her own group later on. And it calls the note stopping us meow. And they're going to explain the pun. Okay, bad part of the sky. the Capcom was was not good at the other one. It was so good. Just fucking angry. And the interesting thing is, I thought, I knew that they would be referencing what happened in the Peter Capco, but it's not a huge follow up. It's a minor plot device that, because of coming from Peter Capco, but distracted, and she basically, you know, got distracted from doing what she's supposed to be doing. That's all it is. Go, go, my plan to talk about here is a little weird. But I feel like I should talk about it here. Okay, it's a plot point, because we're gonna watch the cup code. You know. And as I mentioned, I gotta talk about how that affects the plot to an extent. But I guess I can save that for later at like I'm doing the same one. But I don't know what to about this one, and they will they're just good. Um the twelve blue plot they pay off unpredictable. I could have like wait I think I know how it's going in with that way. But it, the the road to it will kinda of change because of the way they're tend to be being that's again for doing it in a scientific way. You know, frankly, didn't bring up you know, like Flip for the first time. But the only reference yeah, is. But. But, you know, these two are kind of mutual jokes. And, you know, and as, you know, even if it's more, it'll get too bad. And there was a couple plot to fight starting mm -hmm. first. But, um, going plot was, again, not the most interesting, but it was kind of. Cool here, you know, you know, don't get to do a ton of development, but I guess we're in the first can't pot to get by the senior though, you know, that's yeah, good. Um, and I'm picturing this, there are all in it, two of them actually. One is the going to get a pet food commercial and like a jingle for that, which is cool. And she had a fancy commercial, and the Kong is the game will get pointless, but the Kong ended up being important later. They're defense, they're not great Kong, but they're good. And uh, well, we've done a cappella style. Cool. Just tie on my picture. I do gotta watch it at some point. Yeah, it looks okay. Um. But on to the title. My people couldn't really pun they made so far. I mean, that bad will carry about jungle everything. Can you link this title? Gal, I'm kind of clunky when you say it. But, um, but nothing hugely deep, but interesting. And, Delilah, the character from I believe the finale, I believe, come back, and her character changed a little bit, but not that I cared that much about her to begin with. But I'm cool to see her back, and when you like her, don't matter if that was a thing, but it is, but it's not important here. And I'm kind of interested to see all play out from there, but. The reason I think it's quite good is just it didn't quite hit it hard, and I don't know if the plot could balance perfectly. And, uh, again, payoff kind of predictable on the top of blood. You know, and yeah, I'm kind of expecting the thing with blight in the thing to be a big part, not just blood blight, but that's because I thought of the two. I can't come very different from the and we're trying to lift one, boil the fat thing. But not how it comes into play, but boy, look at it. I thought maybe, okay, we'll be taking that to the cup go where they talk about it. Nope, we're going for that to go here, we're completely right. So, 
I go home, I will call Crap Code a decent one, not a particularly great one, but you know, don't call it fun as a code. So, that's about it for the big, there's not much for the game, there's just an interesting thing going on, the song, the bad puns, and whatever. Um, you know, um, um, the funny plot is just kind of like, there could well, be problems for that go go gotta be some point here. But, you know, maybe more, it'll come and play a lot more and go along. So, that's my opinion of the upgrade goal. And go so with regional foils on both this or the first episode, you can go away now. But, uh, that's all even gave the uh, evil stuff. Uh, next week is Ivan the Terrific for, for, uh, well, Patch Hop. And I think I read what it came out, but I don't remember. But, uh, it'll be interesting. And it will cool that with MLP because of the way people talk about it and the way new can spread. I'll talk about Ryder right being going a few weeks before and because we we'll lag on Twin. <gasps> That's not much because I won't know about Ryder right going into an episode. I'm like way really puzzle guy or something. Speaking of a writer, I think some of them might. Well, it's the say. Um, no, we're Mary Weber Williams. Not on the current scene of my opponent for whatever reason. Actually, I do know reason. And in can't she not in here? Because she's currently on Pig Goat and at Cricket. They seem back on Nickelodeon. Um, you know, so she's probably not part of this either. So, and come over right here are doing other things, but might have finished up on here first. So, I guess we'll see as we go on. Then I go. There you go. Go. If everyone, everyone who haven't seen we get going and gone, can we? So I've talked too much because time limit. Don't worry, thank you. What's the next week? Um, yeah, go we'll talk about what happened in the first episode. Go, um, gonna cut Shanks, the, 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 the tortoise, um, Shelly, yeah, Shelby? Shelly, tortoise, I'll call it the turtle. Um, and it turned out what pre previously belonged to Blythe Mom. Yes. Yeah. The, the first well, interesting thing is that they never brought up her mom once because that's not the show that. People like wondered, but it's like, you know, they never brought it up here, they finally bring it up. And they established that Blythe had barely ever, had never spoken to her, at least not. Usually implying that, yeah, she died in the very least. You know. Yeah, and for not only bring up time, but turning out she more likely dead. And, she could talk to Becky as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and her name was, well, her name was Lauren, but her name was Betty, which is going to plot point. Not to mention, a big reveal of following character named Betty. Gee, I haven't seen that on a cartoon note, from the cartoon note, which, uh, I have a whole lot of my field, to my point. But, um, but, anyway, epic reveal. Not only did she... So she got the pet. But she has a journal for experiences, which again, life get twist. Um, something my day. Um, little <sighs> guy, but and she has a journal in the cap code. She reading, you know, the journal, and that's what's affecting her. And I'm hoping they have this, they go a little bit into it. They have the cap code, but I'm hoping they go deeper into the journal. It's more like journal, and maybe at the end she find a map in, in the journal link to a movie we never got. Wait, no. <laughs> Funny thing I do that. Look, I got a review and I put off it, but, you know. Um, but, anyway, um. But it was really interesting, though. They go into commission theme with it to tie into her art of the upcode. And I never even really thought about it. I figured, okay, dead, end of story. But she could talk to animals. She talked to pets. Which means, yeah, that's probably why Blythe could talk to pets. Because it's hereditary. I was just wondering, we'll probably never find out because it's like, it's not important. Maybe mythical shit just happened. I speculated on a few things. Based off hints we had. Here came from mom. How could a mom have the pets? Maybe we'll find out if we can go on, but you think that'd be one of the first things to journal, or maybe she's going to reveal that, I don't know. We don't get to keep that much into the journal and the cover code. Maybe we'll get minor bits and pieces from it, and 
the intent of being revealed for a month. Okay, can that find life good? Maybe that will end up being a big theme. Maybe it'll, that will just get into it. Um, according to one creator, um, they did not, when they wrote the game finale, they said it is a good theme finale, but not good, not, we didn't know it would be a series finale. So it'll probably just be a normal theme finale as the previous couple. And luck it will be a big epic and show thing. But, if the gig ended on the previous two finale, you know, I would have been somewhat happy as long as it become a show canned. You know, I wasn't so happy. So, if all the just as good, it's not better than it's the pet fest, then we'll have to see. So yeah, epic, epic, you know, twins, and we'll see how this just did that day for that big. So, yeah, it's been a big week for big, uh, twists. I was freaking Armageddon and Captain Gravity Fall, Peridot, Turn Good, on uh, Team Universe, and, um, on... Oh, and Bogon Bogger Pukakafu on over Adventure Time, and this couple, and Kimar got, Kimar got Kimar, and now we find out someone's mom could drop the pen. Not a guy, but yeah, there you go, epic twist, and there you go, I get all, hopefully, that kind of get the call out, so, yeah, still an okay episode, and I will see you next week.